Hey, how you doing? Welcome back for Purple Bell Techniques. You know, when we're learning going up through the ranks, we learn that we're not just you know, doing a technique, we're not just doing a form. Every level that we advance in Kempo brings us a lot more closer to understanding about power, speed, fluidity, coordination. And that's how the bell levels were actually set up. Well, yellow and orange were what? The basic fundamentals, right? The format and the fundamentals. Purple belt, on the other hand, now we're beginning to develop the coordination that we built through our fundamentals. And that's what you're seeing now. So in purple belt, you see a lot of more combinations with your hands, simultaneous movements with the hands, more positional checks, more gravitational checks, more twi a little bit more twisters, a little bit more of a aggressive a a a adaptation with your strikes to manipulate your opponent on a higher level, middle zone, and a lower zone as well. So hopefully, um, the information that you will get out of the self-defense techniques will broaden your mind, even for those who already have a great basis of their art, and we'll see you in Blue Belt. Now we're dealing with the guy coming through with the right punch, and we're learning how to slip out of the way, of course, and buckle the guy. That's the main thing. Uh, as he comes with the parry, I'm going to step the tank ready with the left inward parry and do a right middle knuckle rake to his floating ribs. I would prefer a nice hook punch to his ribs, but then again, we're trying to stick with the material here. So as I do the middle knuckle rake, I'm going to let it rip and of course rip right through and fall over my body. My right leg automatically, just for a moment, is going to get into a one leg position so I can buckle his right leg. As he lands, I'm going to hold him with the left, I'm going to back knuckle to his right kidney, I mean left kidney, because it spins him to his left, and then do a nice elbow behind his uh, 12 vertebrae, nice sandwich if I want to hit the face, and cross out, one, two. Mind again that I'm always using that knee as an angle of disturbance, cons consistent angle of disturbance, okay, angle of cancellation. Again, so, I slip, get my head out of the way, bam, hook, glance through, positional check, hold up a half to buckle, Back knuckle right to the left side of his kidney. Elbow. Cross out one, two. Leap in the crate.